How's it going everybody? Welcome to Game Instinct's 5 Pro Tips You Must Know for Scorn. Disclaimer, this video contains spoilers of areas, enemies, and gameplay elements of Scorn. Click off the video if you do not wish to be spoiled in any manner. You have been warned. Now, onto the video. Tip number 5. Throughout your adventure in the world of Scorn, you'll come across organic alien life forms that like to hang on ceilings. These will spit acid at you and hit you if you do not dodge them. The best way to kill them is to use your melee weapon that you get early on in the game. Two direct stabs to the face and they will drop dead. It's easier to kill them with a gun, but I highly recommend that you do not use the ammo on them and save it for the tougher enemies instead. Tip number 4. Later on, you will get a shotgun and run into bull type creatures. Two direct hits from the shotgun up close will make quick work of them. It's better to save your pistol for every other type of enemy and only use the shotgun for the bulls and nothing else. Tip number 3. Another way to kill a bull and conserve ammo across weapons is to melee them with your stab gun. Simply wait for the bull to approach you and get ready to stab it twice in a row as fast as possible. Remember, you can only do two consecutive stabs before your gun needs to recharge. Run away a few feet back, line up once again, and stab twice in a row again. The bull will die roughly after about 8 stabs or so. This strategy is best used in longer hallways and larger rooms when there are no other enemies around. Tip number 2. Here is how many pistol shots or stabs it takes to kill the most common enemies in Scorn. The chicken can be killed with two stabs using your stab gun or two pistol shots. The slug dog takes five stabs with a stab gun or three pistol shots. And finally, tip number one, if you're fighting multiple enemies or low on health, then make sure to take advantage of the environment around you. In this case, we have two slug dogs chasing us, but we are kiting them around the pillar to avoid getting hit by their spit by being behind the pillar at all times. We only engage and go on the offensive after their attack animations have ended. This is an easy way to strategically take out enemies without using any kind of ammo while also keeping yourself safe and not taking any damage. And that concludes Gaming Instinct's top 5 pro tips you need to know before playing Scorned. To see more guides and videos like this in the future, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. This has been Sam Lee, and until next time.